Before mRNA can be used by ribosomes as a template for building proteins, it must first be processed. Key steps are the addition of a methylated cap and a polyadenylated tail. Involved in processing are RNA polymerase, cleavage factors, and poly-A polymerase. Processing of mRNA begins with transcription. Soon after RNA polymerase begins transcription, a methylated cap is added to the 5' end. Transcription then continues to completion. Following completion, RNA polymerase releases the capped strand of pre-mRNA. Specific nucleotide sequences in the mRNA are bound by cleavage factors. The 3' end of the mRNA is next moved into the correct configuration for cleavage. Stabilizing factors are then added to the complex. Poly-A polymerase now binds to the mRNA and cleaves the 3' end. The complex begins to dissociate and the cleaved 3' end quickly degrades. Poly-A polymerase now synthesizes the polyadenylated tail by adding adenine residues to the cleavage site. Additional proteins then bind to the tail, increasing the rate at which it grows. When the tail reaches its full length, the poly-A polymerase is signaled to stop adding residues, and the polyadenylation process is completed. The processed mRNA is now ready to undergo splicing in preparation for translation. The following animation will describe the process of RNA splicing, an important step in creating the mRNA that is involved in protein synthesis via the process of translation. Key factors in this process include RNA, possessing introns and exons, and the spliceosome. Here we see an RNA molecule with a single intron. Several signals exist within the intron that are used in the splicing process. From the 5' prime end of the intron, these are GU, the A branch site, a pyrimidine-rich region, and the 3' prime AG. The GU and AG sequences define the beginning and end of the intron. Splicing is mediated by the spliceosome, which consists of several protein RNA complexes. The first step involves two complexes that bind near the GU sequence. The RNA is then looped, and three other protein RNA complexes bind. This final complex then undergoes a conformational change. Introns are non-coding RNA sequences that must be removed before translation. The process of removing the intron is called splicing. The intron is then cleaved at the 5' GU sequence and forms a lariat at the A branch site. The 3' end of the intron is next cleaved at the AG sequence and the two exons are ligated together. As the spliced mRNA is released from the spliceosome, the intron debranches and is then degraded. 